7.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and this is going to be a short, sweet, and straight-to-the-point update. Just some technical analysis. XRP had a close just under, I mean, guys, it was just under $0.80, cents, but it did not secure the technical target. It closed at 79.895, so it closed just .0015 under $0.80. Cents. We needed a daily close at above $0.80. Cents for a technical uh, indicator that we were gonna go up higher, but just because we close at 79.85, does that mean we're not gonna go up? Not necessarily. Sometimes when you get close to these border lines, you know, you start to be like, okay, that's close enough. But we're gonna see how the broader market reacts, but XRP closed under 80 cents. Right now we're dealing with that uh, 79.410, which we did close over that, so that's a good sign to finish a cup and handle at least. I just don't know if we'll have enough strength to get out of this area now. We don't have an extreme volume push. We had some volume, but as we've gotten to these levels, it's died down a lot. I would look at 83874 and say I'll react. Assuming we get past this level, there's no guarantee because this could have come to a head now as we're coming into some heavy resistance areas. But my main thing was to come on because I seen we were under 80 cents right at the close. We had some great pumps on some. You know, obviously others might have been a little more stagnant. We're still, for all intents and purposes, waiting for Casper to do something compared to the rest of the market. So, considering what we've seen, we had a close over. So, I would say Casper, since we had a daily close. This was one I was watching all day to see where we would end up. And we closed over the two hour, or the one hour. So, that's a good sign. We we're right up on the two hour. So I think we, we might have some room here. This might be a good spot to look. Obviously, we could pull down. But if we ride the one hour time frame and 30 minute time frame, which is right underneath it, this should catapult us up a little bit here with Casper at least. The broader market looks like, for Casper's sake, it looks like we might come around. And if we can do this properly, we could come up here before we have to bounce around and see what we're going to do either this way or up. So, from here, assuming this holds, could be looking at a 18 to 20% pump. Or not, not 18. You could be looking at 13.8% to the top of this cup. But if you look at this from a much bigger pattern, you know, you've got some support here. Where we might come up to 14.34. But, got a double bottom here. We had a fake out. We came back down, retested. Basically, the bottom of this neckline, if you upside down at it, but we came down a little bit too far. But we bounced back after these wicks. And honestly, if the broader market is continuing to move up, we didn't necessarily come all the way down to the uptrending support. We came pretty damn close. So, it's a long sideways consolidation. We've had a fake out. Now we are having a nice sideways consolidation. If this breaks up... We're looking at a pretty decent gain. I mean, this could uh, this could theoretically have a much bigger cup and handle to come into play and be bouncing like this and then decide if it's going to come up here or down here. So, I mean, risk-reward, yeah, it's risky. But, I mean, if you got a big pump up here, you're talking some massive gains. Even up here, 61%. Even if you got up here, 18 I mean, I would definitely highly consider going in that direction. Obviously, what you're looking for is to maintain that one-hour time frame. So, the closer you can get to the one hour, the better. But, I mean, you're coming down and the volume's crashing. To me, this looks like it's about to pump. That's a perfect retracement level and that looks like a bear flag again. And it looks like it's about to do the same thing it just did. And from here to here was seven. So, now I, I think it's going to extend up again. So that's just something to watch. XLM. Coming up to the cup, I think we're probably going to have a little more of a bounce. We're using 29.1 as resistance, 28.1 as support. As long as this maintains and we don't come down much farther, we could bounce off of this and try to push for that 307. Which shows you that XRP right now is undervalued when it comes to XLM. XLM's got it. Set up to where XRP should be about 85 cents right now. So it pushes, or 84.8, it pushes in line with that move to about 84 cents. 
just the way the broader market looks, I, I feel like the way some of these have popped up, like Ren, I feel like Casper's in a really nice spot to have a, you know, it's up on the one hour. Yes, it's come up a little bit. I understand that. But if it bounces off this level, it's got some, it's got some room. And we could potentially get caught here and lose any, you know, we could cap any upside over here. At 4.26%. So that's something to watch. Let's see a broader look. See if anything else hasn't really popped off yet in comparison to the rest of the market. Links down at 2640. We talked about this in my uh, telegram yesterday if it could hold this. And it has held it. So we could have a move on link. That's a nice hold after it broke this cup and handle. We've held this right here and we retested perfectly. If we break out of this, we got here. I mean, that's sad. Link has a chance. That's about 10% up to the next cup. But if it broke this area right here, it's got a clear shot. About 30% up to 3449. Obviously, we'd have to clear this level, but with what I'm seeing in the broader market, I think that's a nice spot to go to with Link. I'm always watching these ones, but this one already popped up. Litecoin has his extension, but you see how far these are popping over the one hour, so. I think that's telling us all we need to know about Casper. A lot of these are making their extensions all over the one hour. It's just, it is the way it is. And look how far over, like, FTM went. So the broader grand, you know, the grand scope is these one hour time frame ones, they might be getting ready to pump up. So that means EOS, we could be making a game here. If we break out of this area, which is 2.3%. You've got a cup up here, 11%. Sandbox, I think, already started. Yeah, it started pumping up, but it's probably got one tiny layer left. Doge is tricky because it looks like it could have a topping reversal. That's the only thing that the issue with these levels right now. We've come up to these points where are we going to have an extension or are we just going to complete this? So it's always tricky. Always tricky. But I wanted to go over broader scope of the market. DGB is about to approach three cents, but it's on the top of the one hour time frame so if you're asking me where's that logical pump from the one hour to the four hour time frame would probably be the logical answer and that puts xrp at 83874 run could possibly come up which is one that i debated at buying at 43 cents as you guys know and i never did buy it but whoever did that's a nice profit right now but up to 57 cents that's a nice pump you could get rejected at 52. That's also still a pretty decent pump. And Casper, if you go by the four-hour time frame, like I said, 1265. So if that's all we're going up to, you know, we've got to watch because that would cap any upside here. You've got Theta that could come up to about $4.70. And then if we look at Algo, Algo doesn't look bad. Argo's got 20% of the top of the symmetrical, and we just bounced off the bottom. So, that actually might be a good way to go. You could get a nice bounce on, uh, based on the symmetrical triangle, this is the time to buy Algo and ride it to the top of the symmetrical. And that would give us about... Eighteen percent, roughly, to the top of the symmetrical triangle. I mean, if you're playing the technical target, you had a reversal. You had a daily close. That confirms the breakout. Now, we should be looking for some big volume coming in with uh, Algo now. I think we're going to come back up. To th that might be where I go. Since it's riding the uptrending spot, that might be where I go. If I do buy in, it's probably going to be Algo, just based on fundamentals. Or ADA, one of the two. ADA hit that exactly. That wick hit it exactly. Almost to a dollar exactly. 
Then you got 88, 23% up here to the four hour or the daily. Hmm. That is a long channel that that if that finally hit a bottom, look out because that's the one, two, three, four. That's like a fifth attempt over here. I mean, it came perfectly down to it. Now, is this going to be what propels it and gets us back up here? Good. So, I'd definitely be watching some of these. So, I hope this helps. This is a broader look at the market. We can kind of look at how this bounced off the uptrend. And ADA has been just beautifully bouncing. And instead of breaking down, I mean, Matic, it broke up. XTC. Ooh, that's another one. It's got its bottom that looks like it formed. Oh, yeah. Now, it's starting to try to elongate here and try to break out you can see some massive volume spikes here with tezos tezos got a, a pretty nice pump too if, if these decide to pump and come up to the top of this level like that's almost 20 percent. but obviously it could cap right now so pay attention be alert this was an update so that you guys get a broader look at the market file coins at 30 56 but they're all in these similar patterns that sucks because that's exactly where I said I thought it was going to go um, to one of the levels. But anyhow, this is what we're seeing, guys. They're all in the same kind of projection, every one of them. So stay blessed, everybody, like I said. So XRP closed under 80 cents. You got 75 cents support, 83 cent resistance. I expect us to get up to probably 83, 84 cents. Unless you see Bitcoin roll over, but when the market's like this to start, this is usually a good sign at the crossover. So I'd definitely be looking for a continued pump here unless you see a reversal on Bitcoin. But we're starting to get to these levels where you have to be very careful if you're going to enter a position. Stay blessed, everybody.